Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2, Napoleon's Legacy, where we are playing as the Polish-Lithuania Commonwealth. And unfortunately, I would like to begin this episode with some bad news. Prussia has rebuilt its military and is about to declare war on Danzig once again. Unfortunately, unlike last time, I don't think I'm going to I'm going to join in to help. I don't think there is anything I can do about it this time. Now, why am I saying that? Well, because last time we had France to help. And this time, Prussia is joined by Austria. The reason this is a problem is that France, who would need to be, do pretty much all of the heavy lifting here, is now in a truce with Austria. So, even if I called in, say, Italy, my only other ally of any use at all, and they were to say yes, there would not be a thing they could do about it. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to let it slide for now, but it's okay. And the reason I say it's okay is because as soon as I can get nationalism and imperialism, and discover national fraternity, I will be able to get free cores on all of East Prussia and West Prussia. So, this is only a temporary setback. We will reunite this area with their, uh, into its proper patriots, proper fatherland, whatever way you want to say it. So, unfortunately, I am going to have to say no to Danzig's request. Lost a little prestige, but that's fine. Our army is still battered from the last wars. We may have won those wars, but we lost entirely too many men to be fighting in another one so soon. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave them behind. It stinks. It's, it's painful, but without France's help, there's just no way I could have won. So, yeah, Prussia gets back up on, it, on their feet. I'm going to have to uh, cut ahead to the next interesting happening, because nothing's going to happen except except uh, Donzig losing. So, yeah, bummer, but that's how it happens. All right, and now Prussia appears to want more, the Poznan uprisings. So they want to take... Uh, they, they want to take the uh, Torun region from us. So let's, uh, let's declare war on them. I think... Uh, as long as Austria isn't involved in this one, we should be able to call in France. So yeah, the French have, and uh, Italy is not. So, let's mobilize. See if there are any other troops we can build. At the moment, there are not. Hopefully. Hopefully, France can help us out here. Suffrage movement, so let's increase the franchise. Yeah, we are absolutely counting on France to save us here. Okay, France. Yeah, meanwhile, uh... The Opian Re Restoration of Order of the Afar Provinces. Measure Teen. Oh, yeah, it looks like they've already annexed that. Yeah, so the, uh, Zemena Mefsifint is over. I always like going back to my old, uh... To, to that first Let's Play. That's, I, I'm always gonna, I always keep one eye open, uh, to, to uh... To Ethiopia. It's, it, I, I'm sentimental that way. See if we can't win a battle. Mobilized as these troops are, it looks like it looks as though we cannot. Oh, I forgot to fully fund my troops even. So, yeah, never mind that.
I was able to get away with most of them intact. I, I consider that to be a small victory in itself. We'll need to use this army purely defensively. We just don't have enough men to win anything by ourselves. So that's a battle of Berlin that they've won. So, yeah, ha France has just been really, really OP at this stage in the game. I wonder, I wonder how that's going to, what events will change that. I, I've heard tell that, that, that a civil war tends to happen in France eventually. Hopefully we'll be able to stand on our own two feet by then, but for now it's, it's good to have uh, Napoleon II on our side. All right, let's deoccupy what they have occupied. Okay, we've now enacted universal su uh, universal suffrage. So we should shift from Prussian constitutionalism to uh, constitutional monarchy fairly soon. I would think. Oh, okay, and yeah, we've gotten all of West Prussia, it would appear. So, yeah, that, uh, that loss of the, that, uh, loss of the free state of, uh, Gdansk was a blessing in disguise, it would seem. Now, I think in order to properly rename the provinces, we need to have those, uh, nationalism and imperialism, uh, decisions available. So, yeah, that's going to have to, yeah, that's going to have to wait. So, um, yeah, uh, that was a rather brief war, so we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to keep this one going, and I, I will, uh, I will let you know of the next happening, happening of note. Hmm. So it looks like Bohemia is now going to war for Niederschlei, Niederschleisen. Hmm. Oberschleisen. And Niederschleisen. I mean, those look pretty rightfully Polish to me. Especially uh, Oberschleisen, but... I'm certainly not going to allow any ally of Prussia's uh, military access. See if the Ottomans join in. Ah, they would have to wait for their truce to expire. And Russia has now abolished serfdom. Slightly early. So, yeah, it looks like uh, Bohemia, for their trouble, is actually going to lose territory. Unfortunate for them. Eh, militancy ain't looking good. And now another Austrian crisis. in which France is backing Hungary. I'd better start uh, rebuilding my army. Quickly as possible. And rely on mobilized troops to be the bulk of my, infantry, my actual infantry, because I'm going to need that artillery. All right. I certainly don't want to join in too soon because I don't want uh, Russia joining in on Austria's behalf in this crisis over Hungary. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to keep a close eye on this crisis. Man, there are a whole lot more wars and crisis, crises in this post-Napoleonic world.
We've got Naples deciding to act on Austria's behalf because they're not a great power anymore. Man, this world is just chaos right now. It's gonna take a while before shit stabilizes. Okay, now rush now because uh now because um the Ottomans threw in, uh Russia wants to support Naples now. So yeah, no real point in not throwing in. Good news is, I think I now have enough for exactly one complete army. White Peace, why'd they accept White Peace? They'd have won the war. Oh well. At least I can build an army now. Maybe they were just tired of fighting. I wouldn't blame them. So the relative quiet of the early 19th century was broken with a crashing revelry in 1848 as the liberal and nationalist agitation, which has been going on for a while, some, in, some, some events have been popping up saying that, you know, you can't just keep back what uh, Napoleon started, or rather what the uh, what the people of France started and Napoleon co-opted for his own gains. But anyway, um, so we shall be freemen as our fathers were. So liberals in our country are growing more militant. Fortunately, we've been passing uh, reforms to start with, and uh, here we have German pan-nationalists. Let's take a look at uh, which reforms are most popular at the moment. So right now, it's uh, just going down the political party line, so... Yeah, I suspect we'll be passing a lot of reforms as our uh, liberal pops get more uh, militant. Which is good. I want reforms. I want social reforms as well. Actually, I want them a bit more than political reforms, but uh, political reforms are what the people want, and I want to keep my militancy down to uh, keep revolution from happening. Extended constitutionalism. The sweeping reforms to our party system that have been enacted during the past few years have turned our country from an absolute monarchy to a constitutional monarchy. The monarch, now serving as a symbolic head of state, no longer has the power to personally control and determine the fate of the nation, but is instead forced to accept the mitigating influences of pluralism and limited democracy. Long live the king and the grand duke. It'd be good to stick it to those Brits to get Saxe, Coburg, Coburg, and Gotha under our wing. So, the Communist Manifesto has now been published in Italy. And there's Garibaldi. He's in Rome. Look out, Pope! Should I be encouraging intellectuals or craftsmen at this stage? Let's go with clergymen. Hmm. 2% is ideal. So I'll boost it to 2% and then go toward, uh... Then maybe go toward craftsmen, or perhaps boosting, uh... Clergy in, uh... Other parts is the way to go. Alright, now the most uh, popular is a, an improved school system. I'll take that any day. Ah, uh, there's Hungary again. I could form an alliance and see if I can't call France into it. It's a bit of a risk, but... Sweden now wants us, so let's try that. 
So why aren't they calling us? Oh, geez, those would be some ugly borders. I mean, are they not permitted to call anybody in? Wouldn't be po the Polish army without some hussars. Okay, new elections. Now Saxe, Coburg, and Gotha is in our sphere. I still don't know why Hungary won't call us in. Is it because we have a truce? I have to think that's the reason. So good school system. That's the next. That was the next one. Okay, now the red shirts have occupied Rome. I think. Uh, I think it's just a matter of time before the papal states become part of Italy, of of the uh, Napoleonic uh, Italy. Yep. We, we're friendly with Hungary, but we, yeah, we can't join because we have a truce with Austria. So, sorry, Hungary. Shame you couldn't hold out a little longer, but... Oh, boy, the conservatives lost a lot in the upper house. Well, yeah, Prussia is beset by uh, reactionaries right now. And now let's uh, get the last uh, last bit of uh, political thought culture tech we need. Yeah, we seem to have weathered the storm with just a few reforms passed. We are now a uh, constitutional monarchy. Really, that's uh, that's the way it ought to be. We, uh, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth was relatively ahead of its time in terms of implementation of uh, bourgeois democracy. Maybe, maybe Hungary will be able to hold out just long enough for us and the French to be able to intervene. Perhaps then we could grab uh, the rest of Galicia. Come on, you need to preserve your army above all else, my dudes. Okay, so the French want to add the Chinese Empire to their sphere of influence, and they're calling us into it. Well, I can't imagine we're ever going to be able to help in that regard, but I don't want to lose them as an ally, so I am going to accept it. But whatever happens there is going to have to wait until next video. Yeah, we've had an, a rather deceptively eventful episode this time. We have gained control of West Prussia. The Spring of Nations has occurred. It's come and gone, and... Wow, Italy formed from, not from uh, Napoleon's Italy, but from, but from Naples. Very, very interesting. And it looks like uh, Garibaldi's red shirts are going to uh, succeed in, uh, in, uh, in forming Italy. That's probably the single biggest result of this, uh, of this, uh, of these revolutions of 1848. For 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 more uh, for for more uh, I mean I mean what more could possibly happen? I mean this has been a crazy alternate timeline thus far. Well whatever we whatever we end up seeing is going to have to wait until next time. Until next time I have been Maricotti. You have been you. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.